Hello everyone, good day. Hope everyone's enjoying their afternoons. It's a beautiful day out here in the Niagara region. Today we're going to be driving the riding, I should say, sorry, the 2012 Triumph Speed Triple R. Let's get into it guys. Let's fire her up and see how she sounds. Oh, one more, one more. There we go. This is Triumph's higher spec model. Uh, the R version, we got the Olin's front and back. Uh, it's a three cylinder engine, I think producing about 130, 35 horsepower and around 75, 80 foot pounds of torque. Oh, probably one or two off. Uh, being a 2012, very basic bike. Um, no modes, no riding features. Does come with ABS, uh, but no traction control, no nothing. Just uh, how far you want to take it up top. Uh, I've got a few aftermarket goodies on her. I'll show that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's get into the ride. In the fall months, the last day, of, last day of summer, first day of fall was a, a day or two ago. So this is probably one of the last days we're going to get to go out and have a good, good thrash on things.
okay Mustang This guy. <laughs> that is one big dollar rama. Holy smokes. So being a triple, being a over a thousand cc bike, it does get a bit toasty when you're in the city traffic. Uh, stop and go. It's pretty tamed uh, as far as temperature goes when you're on the open road, but I mean, being a naked bike, this bike's I feel is built for the in-town stuff. You know, people want to see it. You get looks all the time. The punch is right off the go and, you know, definitely demands respect, but it's definitely not a highway cruiser. There's zero wind protection, so you're... Well, that was first. <laughs> that being said, no gear indicator either. That's the model before all those tips and tads you get on the front dash there. Uh, it's a little windy today, but nothing too crazy. Thankfully, it's warm out, so it's not too much of a bother. It honestly does surprise me too. A lot of the time when I'm really giving it, I think Triumph made the wheelbase a bit longer on this this bike. So really, the front wheel doesn't. I mean, you could get it up fairly easily if you wanted to, if you're trying, but. When I'm purely just rolling on the throttle, which is the most fun for this, it's fairly tame. I really haven't had to worry about losing control or, or anything like that. This one's fitted with a single can aero exhaust. Uh, I believe it's just a slip-on, but it sounds so pure, so nice. The pop, crackles, backfires, what you will on the D-cell is just a, a symphony. You almost want to slow down as much as you speed up. <laughs> Beautiful. that in gear we're on a hill here we are we made it look at all those bikes okay I'll be back with you guys in a sec I'm just gonna pop on in and uh, have a look-see we are currently here Sturgis cycle Hamilton Ontario your local Honda Kawasaki Suzuki and Triumph dealer and some and via Gusta. Be back in a sec. One hour later. And we're back. Just getting all set up here. Uh, a couple parts to mention. Yeah, we've got Rizoma turn signals front and back. Triumph comes with a single side swing arm, uh, the aero canister exhaust, we've got aftermarket rear sets too, aftermarket um, brake reservoirs as well, and leave for, sorry, <laughs> levers, mirrors, uh, aftermarket fuel cap as well, and oh, got RNG crash bars too, I almost forgot about those little guys down there, and that's really about it, the rest of it comes stock, Louis Moto seat cover as well, and uh, tail Italia, I can't remember the brand of this, it's been, oh it is Rizoma, oh geez, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> uh, the other side too, we've got some more carbon fiber bits, it's branded Rizoma, I can't be sure if it's actually the case or not, uh, chain guard as well. These Olins, front and back, they are so easy to adjust, these are just turn, style, turn by turn adjustments, um, you can get adjustments pre settings on uh, Triumph website you just go to I guess the manual sections gives you kind of a rate of your body weight and 
all that for suspension geometry and what settings you want you want race you want comfort it's all on there and with the big Brembo brakes up front big twin discs as well and the bug guys <laughs> love or hate them you you choose you choose anyway let's get back to this ride folks I don't want to say what I was doing here something is coming up very soon on this channel so I am thrilled and excited to to have that experience and I'll just leave it there oh she sounds so good I think that just about wraps up my ride. I'm almost back home. So I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to you know, a little day, a little day in the life of the Triumph Speed Triple R. Um, if you like what you saw, don't forget to ring the bell, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, I've got much, many more things coming out your way. Uh, I'm very excited to share um, some, yeah, upcoming surprises maybe. Uh, I'll be doing a build series as well. Um, being in Canada, we're, we're not fortunate enough to have the sunshine all the time and the warm weather all the time, so we have to obviously take what we can get. So a few winter projects uh, to speak of, but that's going to be later on. And uh, yeah, 
let me know in the comments if uh, maybe you want me to do a detailed first ride on this bike or some of the things I hate, some of the things I love. Uh, yeah, let me know. Um, I'll probably go ahead and make some of those videos anyway, but I always appreciate the critiquing. Oh. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Hope you're, uh, hope you have a good week, good day. Uh, stay healthy, be safe, and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.